We will explain now the different functions and configurations of the VO, VOXS and VOXL monitors, using the VOXS monitor because the configuration is the same for all three models. Among the buttons on the monitor, we distinguish the F1 button, which allows us to use the auxiliary function. With the camera button, we can make use of the auto on function. This will allow us to activate the monitor without prior call. With the next key, we enter the digital menu of the display, where the configuration of the monitor can be done. The VOXS and VOXL hands-free monitors have the following button that allows you to hang up and pick up the call. Finally, the key button allows us to open the door if the monitor is active or if we are in communication. If the monitor is in standby mode and we have a concierge installed, we will call him from here. In addition to the buttons, there is also a control wheel on the side of the VOXS and VOXL monitors which is used to adjust the call volume. When the monitor is in standby mode, the melody volume can be increased, and when the monitor is in audio mode, the volume can be adjusted to the street to dwelling level of a conversation. First, it is necessary to explain the relationship between the buttons and the display. The four buttons correspond in the same order to the four icons on the side of the screen. In the loudspeaker function, we can adjust the volume of the monitor's ringtone. The monitor also has a Do Not Disturb function, which allows us to activate or deactivate the ringtone at any time. This means that when we receive a call to our terminal, it will be activated, but the ringtone will not be heard. Thermax monitors have several functions, such as the Photo Caller function. This function allows the user to know who has called the home by capturing an image of the caller and storing it in its memory. The monitor captures up to 150 images, indicating the date and time. To activate or deactivate the Image Capture option, first select in the menu icon. Then select the Image Capture icon and confirm to activate or deactivate this function. If we want to view the captured images, we should access the menu Inside the menu, the blue icon will inform us that we have new images to visualize. This notification will also appear on the video screen when receiving a call. After pressing the confirmation icon, the images are displayed. The date and time at which the call was made is indicated at the bottom, as well as the number of images that have been stored. By using the arrows, you can scroll through the gallery of captured images. The bin icon is the one that allows us to delete a stored image. In case the date and time are not set correctly, the monitor indicates this with several alerts. On the video screen when a call is received, in the menu at the bottom, and in the image display next to the date and time of capture. The menu for setting the date and time is accessed by pressing the menu button, then click on the settings icon and then the clock icon. First select the format. In this example, we have selected the day, month and year format. After that, set the date and time. It is important to remember that when the power supply is lost, the date and time values will be reset, so we would have to carry out this process again. If we have extra functions such as a garage door or staircase light, within the menu we find an additional function called F2, which we can configure according to our needs. And finally, we go into the user settings. From here, we can select the desired ringtone to distinguish by the tone whether I am being called from the general entrance, from the block panel, or even from my own door if connected. Finally, Enable or disable the automatic opening function, also called Doormatic, which allows the door to open directly when a call is received. To enter in the video settings menu, you must have a preview image on the monitor. For that, we can receive a call or by pressing the camera button. We open the menu with the menu button, 
and press the menu button again to enter the video settings. From here, we can change the contrast and brightness of the incoming video. To enter the audio settings, it is necessary to have the communication channel open. To do this, when receiving a call or pressing the camera button, pick up the handset if it is a VO monitor or press the audio activation button on hands-free monitors to establish communication with the panel. At this point, we can open the menu with this button. Press the menu button again to enter the audio settings. From here, we can raise and lower the volume during the call to obtain the desired setting. If you need to know more, please contact us or visit our website.